to try it if you want. Um, so 21 years ago, my father introduced me to the game of ice hockey. Um, it was kind of hard for me not to like the game. Um, he constantly brought me to all the games, and it's always on the television, and it was hard for me not to like the game. Um, the origin of hockey, uh, as most of you would know, came from, started in Canada. Actually, started in probably like Iceland and like Norway and stuff like that. And the, as the immigrants came over, they just started playing on ice. And it was almost called like ice polo, where they would play and just like hit balls into like a stick, and then gradually grew into what we now know as ice hockey, which is the modern version. And that started in Montreal, Canada. Um, a college student by the name of um, James Creighton went to McGill University in Montreal, and he basically organized a club that would play this game where he created the rules, and they would two teams and they would play against each other, uh, pretty much a modern game of ice hockey. Um, this game grew rapidly throughout all of Canada. Um, it within it started in 1875, which is when Creighton started to play, and by 1893 there was over 100 teams throughout just Montreal alone, and then they also had the western side, Vancouver, Winnipeg, and um, in eight, by the late 1890s, it reached the United States with, uh, I think, Yale and it was Harvard played against each other. Same type of thing as what McGill did, uh, McGill University did, and then also Michigan had their own type of uh, league that they set up where teams played each other. So now that you know the boring history of the sport, let me try to get to the title of the presentation and try to persuade you into why ice hockey should be your favorite sport for all other sports. So when you look at a sport and pick why it should be your favorite sport, then you should look at the players of the sport. And the players of the sport, um, well, girls love them. Yeah, <laughs> Henry Longquist, great looking guy, plays for the New York Rangers. <coughs> Uh, down here, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's Mike Green. He has a couple tattoos, which a lot of girls like. Um, Zach Creasy in the middle, he's an American player. Uh, a lot of hockey fans like him because he's an American player in a sport where it's very scattered around the world. People would like uh, an American born player. On the far side, Chicago, uh, Canadian player. Uh, he was a uh, Patrick, he's Patrick Sharp. He's actually voted the most good-looking hockey player, so girls tend to love him. And then uh, on the bottom, New York Ranger, uh, Rick Nash. So if girls love hockey players, uh, guys would want to be hockey players. <laughs> so you see up here, Carrie Underwood, country singer. Most of you probably know who she is. Uh, Mike Fisher, is, who's a part of the Nashville Predators, Bates, uh, actually he's married to this singer. Uh, in the middle, Jared Stoll of the Los Angeles Kings is dating currently Aaron Andrews of ESPN. Uh, I particularly like Aaron Andrews. <laughs> uh, on the right side is Mike Comrie. He used to be a play for the New York Islanders, which is my favorite team. And his wife now, they actually just had a baby, is uh, Hillary Duff. I don't know where she went. Um, <laughs> down here, before Anna Kornikova was uh, falling in love with Enrique Iglesias, uh, she was dating a professional hockey player by the name of Sergei Fedorov, uh, the Detroit Red Wings. In the middle, you probably can't really tell who she is, but that's DJ from Full House. Uh, I forgot her name, but she is married to Valerie Bure, who is a Russian hockey player. And then on the bottom right, Kelly Pickler, who is in the American Idol. Um, her husband is Jordan Tutu, now the Detroit Red Wings. So moving on a more serious note, um, hockey is a very difficult game, and if you're going to pick a favorite sport that you would like to have be your favorite, you should pick a sport where you respect the game and you respect what the athletes are doing. Um, Brendan Shanahan, who was a very veteran player, gave this quote. He was asked after he was pretty much slumping about six years ago, could, couldn't score, couldn't do anything. Uh, a lot of the fans were like, what the heck? And somebody asked, is hockey hard? And he basically said, I don't know, you tell me. 
We need to have the strength and power of a football player, the stamina of a marathon runner, and the concentration of a brain surgeon. But we need to put all this together while moving at high speeds on a cold, slippery sur surface while five other guys use clubs to try and kill us. Oh yeah, did I mention that this whole time we're standing on blades about one eighth of an inch or <coughs> an inch thick? Is hockey hard? I don't know, you tell me. Next question. So basically just to further talk about why he, he believes and why I believe hockey is a very difficult sport. Um, it's played on a sheet of ice. Uh, you know, you know, before you can learn to play the game, you have to learn how to ice skate as well, so, which is very difficult. I don't know if any of you tried to ice skate, but you can't just stand. You have to be able to move at high speeds as well. Uh, it's considered the fastest game on earth. Players move 20 to 30 miles an hour, especially in the National Hockey League. Uh, they're going extremely fast. They're making moves all on the go. Um, and with the play moving around so fast, the play of the game, you have to make decisions very quick, and it's very difficult. Uh, like I alluded to earlier, there's competition from all over the world. People in Russia, there's a kid who here who I play with from Russia. Uh, there's a kid here from England who I play with. I play all over the world, mostly northern countries like Norway, Finland, Russia, Canada. Um, but it is played all over the world. So there's competition all over the world uh, that you have to compete with. Um, there's a lot of equipment to slow you down. The um, average hockey player wears about 15 to 20 pounds of equipment with all the stuff on them. So you have to balance yourself on the sheet of ice with a blade that's an eighth of an inch thick, and you have all this equipment on to slow you down and knock you over. And it takes a lot of hand-eye coordination because I know in, if you play basketball, you have it directly in your hand, you play soccer, it's directly on your body. <coughs> With hockey, you play with a hockey stick and you have to control the puck without using your hands. You use a stick, essentially. But what also makes hockey difficult is the fact that it's a very dangerous sport. And what makes it dangerous is the fact that there's contact <coughs> and fighting. So here's a nice clip. why hockey can be extremely dangerous. Okay, it's not working. They, what did he say? He said that, I'm sorry, I think to remember. This wasn't taking Firefox for some reason, so you should go to Explorer, Internet okay. Explorer. I'm sorry, I, said, I should have mentioned that. See, hockey is a very dangerous sport. There's a lot of big, bad, big people who are fighting each other and causing blood, as you can see. And uh, there's a couple of little kids fighting. As you can tell, it's very dangerous. So, what also makes it dangerous is just the fact that you're moving at high speeds. You fall down, you'll land on a frozen sheet of ice, you're going to land into the boards, you're going to hurt your shoulder, you're going to hurt your head. Um, like I said, they move 20, 30 miles an hour, and you have people directly skating into each other. <coughs> Very high opportunity for people to get hurt, and uh, if you know anything about hockey, you know that people get hurt all the time. Um, there's, you play with the little round uh, puck, it's made of rubber. It's frozen solid so that when you play, it doesn't bounce all over the place. 
Uh, they keep it in a little cooler during the games. Um, it's about an inch thick, three inches in diameter, and it's solid rubber. And when you're shooting the puck, people shoot at about 70 to 100 miles an hour uh, with very little visual uh, protection. This, back then, they used to not wear helmets. He has no teeth, probably a hip right in the face of the puck. Uh, over there, current NHL player out there now, Benjamin has a little visor that most players actually tilt up just for style purposes and really just no facial protection at all. Eyes are constantly hurt and stuff like that. What else makes ice hockey a great sport? It has its own official vehicle, Zamboni. No other sport has a vehicle like that. Um, but there's also many other sports that you may find interesting and you may want to be a favorite sport. Uh, football, a lot of people like, um, but it's a little bit too discontinuous. You know, you play one, go one play every 10 seconds, it's just 10 seconds and then you gotta wait and then do it again and then do it again. Ice hockey is much more flow. You go five, six minutes without a single whistle and it's just up and down the ice you go. Uh, baseball, everyone knows it's just too slow. The catcher has to go talk to the pitcher, you talk for uh, about 30 seconds, and it's just over and over and over again. You gotta wait for him to pick the pitch, and you don't have that type of slow mentality in hockey. Um, I feel that basketball is too much of an individual driven sport. There's only about six or seven players, you know, and I mean, you have guys like LeBron James who go off and they score 40 points, or however much they score. Hockey is much more, anybody can score, there's, everybody's playing, there's four lines of three, you know, five lines, so it's like 18 players playing all in one game, and they all play throughout the entire game. And I feel soccer is too slow and boring as well. Um, the games where it's just zero, zero tie, it's just, nobody wants to see that. Um, what else makes it better than other sports is the trophy. A lot of people, especially if you know sports, know <coughs> The Lord Stanley's Cup is very well known. It's um, started off in Canada uh, as just this top, where the guy, the governor of Canada in 1888, Lord Stanley and Preston, actually went out and bought just a decorative cup and said, here, this is expensive, use this as a trophy. Uh, this guy on the right actually carries the cup around wherever it goes. He's, a, he's like the bodyguard of the cup, and he has a white gloves, he never touches the cup, he never touches the cup unless you win the cup. Very uh, sacred. So basically, in conclusion, hockey is overall a great sport. Um, it combines skill, hard work, toughness, and good looking and great athletes. Um, it's obviously my favorite sport, <coughs> excuse me, it's my favorite sport, and ice hockey should also be your favorite sport as well. Do you think they'll ever get rid of fighting in hockey? No, I don't. They've talked about getting rid of it. We're starting it later, but uh, it's too much ingrained in the game. And it kind of makes it unique to the other sports, especially. Did all those players that you showed in your initial thing, you think they had their real teeth? Uh, some people do, some people don't. You know, they get it fixed. Yeah, so um, a little facetious with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of saw that. Some of the other playoffs, the, no, the other, no, the other the the too. Who got hit the other night that was really, really hurt? Um, well, Sidney Crosby got yeah. hit the other day. He got hit in the jaw. He broke his jaw. He actually lost, I think it was five teeth. Yeah. He had to go, and his jaw is now wired shut. And that's the he threw his jaw. And it was his own player, too, which kind of stunk. Um, yeah, it was kind of the best player in the world, though, and he's going to hurt his team. Anything else? Pretty good, thank you. <laughs>